Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. Okay, so in this example, we have this power series and we have to prove that this power series is convergent only at z is equal to 0. So with the help of radius of convergence, we are going to solve this example. Okay, we are going to prove this thing. See, let us recall the concept. Uh, see, concept is very simple. If mod z is less than r, that means if mod z, if you take any point z such that mod z less than r, r means radius of convergence, then given series is convergent. And if mod z is greater than r, then given series is divergent. So let us find radius of convergence first. Okay. So let, let us write the given thing we have. What is the series we have? Summation n factorial z raised to n. n varies from 0 to infinity. Okay. So what is a n here? A n means multiple of z raised to n. It is n factorial. Let us write a n plus 1. That means simply replace n by n plus 1 everywhere. So we'll have n plus 1 factorial. Okay. Then the formula of radius of convergence, which we have already seen in our previous video, that is n running from 0 to infinity, limit n tends to infinity, uh, mod a n upon a n plus 1. Let us put the values limit n tends to infinity. Our a n is n factorial, right? A n plus 1 is n plus 1 factorial, okay? Uh, see, no need to apply mod since these are positive real numbers. So, no need to apply mod. Let us simplify it further. So, this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. See, n factorial, n plus four, uh, 1 factorial can be expressed in this way, n plus 1 into n factorial. So, n factorial, n factorial will get cancelled. This is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n plus 1. So, if you apply the limit, you will have 1 upon infinity, which is 0, which is 0. Get it? So, radius of convergence is 0. Getting radius of convergence is 0. That means the given power series is convergent only at the that center of uh, radius of center of convergence. Okay. So, here the series is about z is equal to 0. So, obviously, only at z is equal to 0, the series is convergent and for remaining uh, values the series is divergent series so therefore since uh, the radius of convergence is zero so therefore series summation n factorial z raised to n n running from uh, zero to infinity is convergent only at z is equal to zero and you can also easily see if i put z is equal to zero the all terms of series will be zero so its value will be zero that means finite getting so when we have a finite value, then we say it's a convergent series. And yes, we get it for z is equal to 0 only. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.